My kid has been sick. The weather has changed. It's super cold. So I'm going to do a couple of different preserves for tea that are good for cold symptoms. They are comforting, especially if you're congested or have a cough. So I'm going to do a couple of variations. Uh, so I'm just looking for some organic ingredients and then I'm gonna go home and make these teas because it is cold today. <laughs> Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to make a lemon tea preserve. Basically this is a riff off of the Yuja Cha which is Korean citron tea. I don't have citron but I like to use lemon which is what I can find at my local grocery store. So I'm adding hot water, a couple tablespoons of white vinegar, my lemons and I'm going to scrub the exterior. I'm going to clean them very well. These organic lemons, I noticed, do not have tons of that waxy buildup on the exterior to make them shiny, which is why I like to use them. If you're using something that's not organic or has a lot of wax on it, you'll want to clean them well. So now I'm just going to dry them. Once they are dried well, I'm going to start slicing them thinly. And you'll want to make sure as you slice them, at least this is what I like to do or what my mother-in-law does, she likes to start removing the seeds because these lemons do come with lots of seeds and it's not something that's necessary. You could definitely preserve them with seeds and just remove them as you use it, but it does make life a little easier. So I'm going to continue thinly slicing these and once I have them in this large bowl, it makes it a lot easier to pick out the seeds and I typically like to get my husband to do this. <laughs> By the way, I am using four pounds of lemons. I failed to mention that earlier. And this recipe is a one-to-one -one ratio. So honestly, by the time I picked out seeds and cut some of the pith off of the ends of the lemon, I'm probably left with about three and a half pounds of sliced lemon. So I'm going to use three and a half pounds of sugar. But this is a one-to-one -one ratio. And if you find that that is just way too much sugar for you, then you know, cut it by half. It's definitely to your preference, but I'll tell you, these lemons are very bitter, and what you want to ultimately end up with is a, a nice thick syrup, just like this when you're done mixing it. So one-to-one -one ratio is suggested, but it definitely is up to you if you don't want it that sweet. So I'm going to store these in some glass containers. If you are canning these, then do the canning process of your choice. I'm actually going to just use clean glass containers and some leftover jars that I have to store this, and I like to store it in the refrigerator. As far as how long you'll store it in the refrigerator, I have stored this for up to three months without any issue. Here I'm going to make my nephew a jar and I'm just adding some sliced lemons to the exterior and I'm going to add my lemon preserve in the center with some of that sugary syrup and cover it with a lid. This makes a really nice gift and it definitely is a warm comforting gift during the cold winter. So here I've added some of my lemon preserve to the bottom of my cup, some hot water, I'm going to give it a stir and this is a comforting cup of lemon tea. It is great when you're sick or even when you're trying to not get sick. You could also opt to use honey instead of sugar, which I've done before, and I'll link that video below. But my kid definitely needed this cup. Thank you, Mom. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it. And thanks for watching.